Today's topic is Kawasaki disease, symptoms, causes, diagnosis, and treatments. Kawasaki disease is a serious illness that occurs in children, causing inflammation in the blood vessels, also known as mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome. Kawasaki's disease is the most common cause of heart disease in children. It affects the lymph nodes, and its symptoms show up in the nose, mouth, and throat. Kawasaki disease is known to occur more in boys than girls, and shows a predominance in descendants of Asian and Pacific communities. However, it can still affect all races and ethnicities. The disease can be treated and usually goes away after a few days of treatment. However, Kawasaki disease can cause serious heart problems if it is left untreated. Let's take a deeper look at this health complication. Symptoms. The symptoms of Kawasaki disease differ according to what stage you're dealing with. Early symptoms of the disease can last up to two weeks, and include the following. 1. High fever, lasting for 5 days or more. 2. Rashes on the groin and torso. 3. Swollen lips that are bright red. 4. Bloodshot eyes without any crusting. 5. Swollen lymph nodes. 6. A shiny tongue that appears red in some spots, called a strawberry tongue. 7. Swollen hands and feet. 8. Reddish palms and soles. Heart problems can also start to appear at this stage. The late stages of the disease start within two weeks of the fever. The child's skin can start to peel off like sheets, mainly off the arms and feet. This stage can even lead to the development of temporary arthritis and joint pain. Other symptoms include 1. Vomiting 2. Diarrhea 3. An enlarged gallbladder 4. Abdominal pain and 5. Temporary hearing loss Cause the cause for Kawasaki disease remains unknown. Experts believe that a mixture of genetic and environmental factors may be responsible for the problem. This may point out why the occurrence of the disease is higher in certain seasons. The disease is most common in young children, especially those of Asian descent. According to studies, 75% of its occurrence is in children below the age of 5. Although the disease isn't believed to be inherited, it can occur amongst families. A sibling of an infected individual has a 10 times greater chance of developing it. Diagnosis Kawasaki disease is diagnosed by a pediatrician based on a child's condition and the development of symptoms such as 1. Measles 2. Rheumatoid arthritis 3. Scarlet fever 4. Toxic shock syndrome 5. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis 6. Medical reaction 7 juvenile mercury poisoning, 8. Rocky Mountain spotted fever. A physician might conduct several tests to determine a diagnosis. Treatment. Children with Kawasaki disease have to be treated immediately because they are at risk of heart damage. The initial treatment involves administering antibodies intravenously for 12 hours within 10 days of the fever. While that should be enough, aspirin is also advised for 6 to 8 weeks to prevent any blood clots. Delaying the treatment can increase resistance to it. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.